Hi YouTube and once again happy Friday. What is it? What is this mess that we're looking at here? Well it's a Palm TX and accessories bundle I recently got on eBay for $28 including shipping which was $10 for all this. Let's take a look at all I got. I got of course the Palm TX in this nice metal case. It's in excellent condition you can see it's a padded case. It holds a couple SD cards. This will flip out and it even has spaces for the SD card slot, the, what do you call that, audio jack, power button, stylus, speaker, and everything. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe, maybe a strap or something screws in there. It's a bit beat up, but it's a good thing the cases be up and not the TX. You might be wondering, why did I get this TX? Well, oh, there we go. This is the holy grail of OS5 Palms. It has Wi-Fi. In fact, that Wi-Fi can even do WPA2 security, so I'll be able to use it with my home wireless. It has Bluetooth. It has a pretty fast ARM processor, non-volatile storage. Audio, as I mentioned, SD card, and as you can tell here, 3x5 instead of 3x4 in the home view because it has a full 480 by 328, 480 by 320 pixel display. This excellent resolution there. I'll probably do a full review soon, but before that, a test of its Bluetooth networking capability, as I did with that iPack that I was given at the Vintage Computing Festival. Excellent device. Anyway, so going back to this overview, once I turn that off, I can show you how it slides out of the case. See, there's a little slot here for this metal piece which lets me stick this in the case. I think this was supposed to have magnets to help it close, but that doesn't seem to be working all that nicely now. It, yeah, it doesn't hold shut. But anyway, that's kept it very secure. Excellent, excellent. You know, I had hoped I, I would get one of these for $15 some time ago, but that uh, deal was refunded. So here we go, all this stuff for $30. Anyway, I'll set that aside. Now, what's this dealie mabob in the back? Well, let's take a look. Let me slide that open. Yeah, there's a little, what would you call that, handhold here I can use to slide this thingamajig, thingamabob apart. Now, let's see what that is. You might know, and now you definitely know. That's a Palm IR wireless keyboard. There's some function to rotate the display so I could stick the TX and the landscape in addition to, um, well, maybe not in, in portrait orientation, honestly. Yeah, yeah, in landscape orientation. And I can rotate around the, um, actually I might not have to, yeah, so that would be portrait that in landscape or this in the landscape. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the IR, IR beam, the IR LED uh, from the keyboard. So it's a portable wireless IR keyboard I can use with the TX. It looks really good except for one thing, which isn't that big of a deal. I mean, I can deal with it, but um, it's still a bit of an issue. And that is the battery compartment. Let's take a close look here. Let me see. Yeah, you might be able to see that there's a lot of corrosion there. I think I wiped some of it off with an alcohol wipe. Let's try and get that in. Shown real nicely here. Yeah, yeah. So this side's okay, but that side's a little bit corroded. And I'm just making sure I take off the corrosion. Interestingly, I have two of these, and both of them have that same issue. So maybe it was common on this keyboard. But anyway, that's a real nice touch. Okay. Yeah, I think you can see that corrosion. Or maybe, you know, I scraped enough of it off. I certainly can notice it. Anyway, if it works well, who cares about that? Okay, so that's the keyboard and the palm. 
try one more time to get that in view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think you can see it now. There we go. Good thing I did that. Okay, so keyboard and the Palm TX in case already for the $17 without shipping. Okay, that clip back together. Um, let's see what else. Okay, so there's a smattering of cables here. There is a cradle that is both for charging and uh, syncing. Syncing over USB, charging over the two-prong DC adapter. Okay. There's the sync portion. Uh, sync portion. And then this is the... Wow, that's a mess. Is the um, oh well, it's the big adapter. Yeah, and there, there's the adapter that goes with it, and that even snaps out of the cradle, and I could connect it, you know, directly, directly to the palm. Oh, that's old. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's about. Undone. All right. And just a plain sync cable, so I don't have to lug that, you know, big cradle around. USB on one end, and then just some of the pins. Let's see if we can get that in focus. Here, okay. Come on. Boy, is that hard to focus. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you can see the small number of pins that are available. Okay. And where are the last few things? Well, a regular charging cable that I've been using has an LED. And then all this good stuff, not all of which is for the TX. Good old software installation, a CD, always good to have that. Universal keyboard drivers, I think they're still installed. Thank goodness for that non-volatile uh, file system. What to start with. Yeah, flip cover, I guess, is gone. Um, how you would set it up back in the day. Installing software, all the features, getting answers. Ooh, that's cool. Big trifold there. And where all the stuff is. Nice. Okay. Well, we'll have more fun with that soon enough. Manual for the wireless keyboard. Multiple languages. That's always good. Those drivers are built in. Slide keyboard cover to the right and open it. So that's what I was doing wrong. Huh. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's easier enough. Okay. Now, what's this doing here? That's Franklin Covey software for the Palm M500 series. That's not really what I want. So that must have been with this person's M500. I don't have one. I don't think I need it since I have, you know, the this is just a lot more powerful and I have my M125, but if anyone really wants this software and can't get it, maybe I'll make an image and upload it somewhere. Anyway, what is this doohickey mabob? Um, it must have been the case that the uh, universal wireless keyboard came in. Oh, and that has some... Um, some personal identifying information from the previous owner that I'll get rid of it. How much was this thing originally? Merchandise subtotal. 
$306 with shipping and handling, $307 with shipping and handling back in 2007. 13 years ago, how time flies. A big election then and a big election now. Good times. Anyway, there it is. There's the magic doohickey mabob. Uh, one thing I should note with this, and maybe someone can help me, is the on-off switch is a little bit testy. What do I mean by that? Well, um, here, let's get a better view of that. Yeah, there we go. I seem to have to press the left side of it to get that to work really well. Um, if I press the right side, oh, well, that time it worked. Maybe there's some dirt in there. You know, sometimes it takes a couple presses. Anyway, if someone has an idea of, of how to clean that out, I, I squirted a little alcohol in there and then pressed it a bunch of times. Yeah, I guess it's okay, but if someone knows how to make that even better, that would be great. Fantastic stylus. And anyway, so in a future video, I'll go through and um, test this out using the same kind of Bluetooth internet connection that I set up with the um, IPAC. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the TX, please leave them in the comment section down below. As always, like and subscribe, and have a great weekend.